Hello friends. In the pr past previous lectures, we have been going, we have introduced uh, nodal analysis and we've done a number of problems also on nodal analysis. So as a concluding uh, concept of uh, nodal analysis, let us take a problem. This is a problem which I have discussed in the earlier lecture also. This same problem we have done. The only change here is that in between the uh, nodes, let me just mark the nodes here. Let this be V1, this is V2, and this is V3, and this is the reference node, all right, and this is approximately 0, 1. Now, uh, the only difference here is that instead of some element, I think it was a current source, instead of the current source, I have introduced the, uh, in fact, not me, the author has introduced the voltage source here. So how to approach this problem? So in a typical way, you would apply a KCL in the node 1 and you will apply a KCL in the node 2 and 3. But the problem here is that when you select the node 2, so what is the current through this 22 volt? If it was a resistance, you could have told it is V2 minus V3 divided by that resistance. But here there is nothing given. So a way is to assume a particular current say I, writing the KCL here and then using KVL to solve that. But then it complicates the matter a lot. So here we are going to introduce the super node concept. So the super node concept is used to do node analysis when you are having a voltage source in between, only a voltage source in between two uh, nodes. All right. So here the super node will be this one. So you can clearly see there is the node 2 and node 3. So what you do is that I am doing a dashed line here. You take the node 2 and node 3 as one single super node here and write the KVL equation. So let's not waste time and let us write the KCL at node 2. Okay, so the objective of this problem was to find say V1, V2 and V3, the node voltages, all right. So KCL at node 1, so here the minus 8 ampere current is entering the node. So it will have a negative sign and the value itself is minus. So minus of minus 8. Here again you are having 3 amperes which is entering, minus 3 amperes is entering. So you get like this. Now this particular uh, current which is going to go outside the node 1 through the 3 ohm and here you are having node 2 here. So that will be plus V1 minus V2 divided by 3. All right. And this particular current through the 4 ohm resistor going out of the node 1 will be V1 minus V3 divided by 4. That will be equal to 0. So you are having 1, 2, 3, 4 currents. So I have put 4 currents here. All right. Now, if I have to simplify this, it will become 0.5833V1 minus 0.3333V2 minus 0.25V3 equal to 11. So this is the equation number 1. This is not equation number 1, this is the equation number 1. Now, next is the KCL at the super node. KCL at the super node. So super node is having both node number 2 and node number 3. So let us see what all are the currents which are going out of the super node. Alright, so let us put it here. So this is a current which is going out of the super node. Alright, this is a current which is going out of the super node. And because node number 2 and node number 3 are the same nodes in this case, so here is another current which is going and here already a current is going and here is also another current. So in the super node, you take all the currents which are going out of the node 2 as well as the currents which are going out of the node 3 and you write it in one equation. Let us write that equation now. So here the first current, let me put this one. So the current through the 3 ohm resistor is V2 minus V1 divided by 3. It is leaving and the next current is V2 divided by 1, this current here and another current is minus 3 which is leaving the node. So it will have a plus sign, plus of minus 3, not plus 3, plus of minus 3 and let us let me go to the next one here. So V3, the third node. So this current will be through the 5 ohm resistance, it is V3 divided by 5 and minus 25 is leaving the node. So you get plus minus 25. All right, and the last current is this particular current which is going through the 4 ohm resistor. So it is V3 minus V1 divided by 4 and that is going to be equal to 0. 
So if I solve this particular equation, I will get minus 0 0.5833, not solving, we are just rearranging the terms, plus 1.333v2 plus 0.45v3 equal to 28. All right. So this is my second equation. Okay. So you are having two e one equation, two equations and three unknowns. Now, so we need one more equation to solve this. So let us take the super node. All right. You can clearly see in between the node 2 and node 3, you are having the 22, 22 volts. So can we write in terms of the node voltage V3 and V2? Clearly, we have done this earlier also. Based on the polarity which is given here, V3 minus V2 will be equal to 22 volt based on the polarity given here. So you see here, this is V2. This is like this 22 volts. This is V3. All right. So if you want, you can just show it by uh, KCL also. You can apply a KVL and you can see this uh, particular uh, relation also. All right. So I'll just show that also here. So this is V2 and this is V3. And here you are having this reference node. I have not put that reference node, but it is understood because these two are the negativity. So if you apply a KCL, KVL like this, so you start from this point. So minus 22 plus V3, you come here, minus V2 equal to 0. So V3 minus V2 equal to 22. But you need not write KVL actually. So just see the polarities. See the plus sign is with the V3, right? So put plus V3 and the negative side is with V2, put minus V2 and that will be equal to 22 volt. Now in case they had given this value to be minus 22 volt, so you can write V3 minus V2 equal to minus 22 volt. Okay, so that should not confuse you. So now you are having three equations. You are having number one equation, number two equation, number three equations. Three equations with three unknowns. Now that you can solve. You can use the calculator and you can get the result. All right. Let us take the next problem here. So just because we have started super node concept, let us do one more problem. With this, we will be concluding the nodal analysis. And in case uh, if I get some time, I will be doing some more problems and I will update in the playlist. Now, uh, in this case, you are you are asked to find the voltage across the current sources. So you have to find this particular voltage, right? This node voltage, but this node and this node are the same. So let me call this as V1. And the next is the voltage here. That is the voltage across the next current source. So this is V2. And then you can have a reference node. So let me put that as 0 volt. So let us write the uh, KCL. But clearly you can see that you cannot write the KCL directly because you will be stuck when you write this thing here. So again you are ha to apply the super node concept. So what will be my super node? So I will be combining like this. So this will be my super node. Right, so this is going to be the super node. It's a very fancy name, super node. So let us write the current equation. So KCL at super node, KCL at the super node. So you are having the first. Let me take this current is actually. So this point and this point are the same, right? So you can just take it directly. So four amperes is entering. So minus four. Then you have to find this particular current leaving the node. So it will be plus V one divided by one by two. Then the next current is this current because this point and this point are the same. So that point, let us see. This is V1 here, right? And this is V2. Right? So this point is V2. So the current will be V1 minus V2 divided by 1 divided by 3. All right? So the current is the potential difference by the resistance. So I have covered in one part of the super node. So that's well and good. So let's take the second part. So this current. So plus v2 divided by 1 by 6 all right 9 amperes is entering the node so i'll put a negative sign minus 9 and this current which is flowing through the 1 by 3 so this current all right so that will be plus v2 minus v1 divided by 1 by 3 equal to 0 so if i just simplify this what will i get i will get 2 v1 plus 6 v2 equal to 13 all right this is what i'm going to get so you are having one equation with two unknowns. Let us try to find the second one. So you can see that the 5 volt is nothing but V1 minus V2. V1 is connected to the positive, V2 connected to the negative. So V1 minus V2 is equal to 
uh, 5 ohm okay so you can just confirm it also by uh, applying a kvl so this is 5 volt this is v2 this v1 this is v2 this is plus this is also definition is plus like this so v1 and v2 so apply a kvl start from this point so plus 5 plus v2 minus v1 equal to 0 therefore v1 minus v2 v1 minus v2 is equal to the 5 volt here all right so that is the equation you have got so equation number one equation number two solve these two equations you will get v1 to be equal to 5.375 volt and v2 will be equal to 0 0.375 volt now all the problems which i take most of them in fact till till the course we have uh, covered so far all the problems are from the textbook Hayt and Kemmerle sixth edition all right sixth edition is a good edition of book so you can purchase that for us you can you will get it in second hand so you can purchase the book and almost all the problems are taken from the Hayt and Kemmerle we are doing unsolved examples as well so I hope you have understood this lecture also about super nodes and in the next lecture we will be starting with the mesh analysis which is again an important concept and after that we'll start with the inductors capacitors and the transient analysis of circuits thank you i hope you understood the lecture i'll see you in the next lecture thank you